Hi everyone! This video is going to be swatches and an overview of MAC's upcoming A Novel Romance Collection. This is currently available online at maccosmetics.com. It will be available at Nordstrom and it releases next Thursday in stores. As always, please go to the website at allurebeauty.com if you want to see reviews and photographs of the swatches for each and every individual item. Sneak peeks to other upcoming MAC collections are in the description box below, as well as a link to the blog sale. I'm going to add a bunch of new items to the blog sale shortly, so just keep an eye on that. And please check out my most recent videos that would be my clothing haul, in which I'm giving away one backless bra, and my swatch video of all 30 of Milani's Bella eyes. Upcoming videos are for NARS's Dual Intensity Eyeshadows, NARS's Audacious Lipsticks, and Stila's new 20th Anniversary Collection. So please subscribe so that you don't miss out on those videos, and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. One last thing is I am giving away one of the lipsticks in this collection to a lucky viewer who is subscribed to the channel and who likes Allura Beauty on Facebook. So just stay tuned for those details. Alright, let's get looking at this collection. Let's start with the two new limited edition powder blushes. These cost $22 each. This shade is Fun Ending. This shade is Animal Instincts. All right, first to swatch is Fun Ending. This is a soft, neutral peach color with good pigmentation. It has a satin finish. And here it is with two layers applied. This is a very interesting color. It's pinky, a light pink in some flashes of light, and then a deeper rose in other flashes of light. There's one and two layers up close. Kind of has a lighter pinky peachy sheen to it. Next is Animal Instincts, which is a shimmering plum. Has a frost finish. Here it is with two layers, and despite this being a much deeper color, the pigmentation is actually not as strong as with Fun Ending. It's a much more translucent layer of color. And even though it's a frost finish, it doesn't really show a lot of frost or shimmer on the surface. It does have a sheen on the surface though. So there you go, one and two layers of Animal Instinct. Just to show you the pigmentation, here are the two blush colors swatched just with my fingers side by side. This collection includes six new lipstick colors. They cost $16 each, which is a dollar more than the recent $15 price tag. This shade is a Novel Romance, Good Kisser, Hearts Aflame, Lingering Kiss, Myself, and Yield to Love. Here's a novel romance, which is a light, cool, dusty pink, and this has a cream sheen finish. Good Kisser is a mid-tone fuchsia with a matte finish. Hearts of Flame is a mid-toned brick red also with a matte finish. Lingering Kiss is a deep plum red with a matte finish. Myself is a soft shimmery nude beige with a luster finish. And Yield to Love is a mid-tone rose with a cream sheen finish. Okay, so there you have your six new lipstick shades. All of these colors applied to the lips will be at AllureBeauty.com. Next, we're going to take a look at the Electric Cool eyeshadows. And if you look on the website, you'll notice that there are eight shades of the Electric Cool eyeshadows. But the reason I'm only showing you one in this video is because seven of those eight shades are recycled colors. They were already previously promoted and released through MAC. So seven of those are re-promoted shades. This shade in front of you, Gilded Thrill, is the only new shade out of all those. And I have done both website reviews and a video swatch of all of the other seven shades. So if you go to AllureBeauty.com for the review for this shade, Gilded Thrill, in that post I will also hyperlink for you the reviews to the seven other colors, which I did individual swatches and reviews for. And in this window right here, I will link so that it will open in a new tab for you 
the video in which I swatched all seven of those other shades. Okay, so this cost $21. With the gel cream consistency with the electrical shadows, when it comes to the lid shades, the best way really is to apply them with your fingers. And you can apply this shade damp or dry. This is slightly damp here, so it helps to intensify the color. And here is a more dry swatch. All right, so there is the Electric Cool Eyeshadow in the shade Gilded Thrill. And really it's a ton of shimmering flakes of mostly gold and copper. Okay, this collection also releases three new eyeshadow quads. These quads are $40 each. This quad here is called An Amorous Adventure. And I'm gonna swatch these in a clockwise manner, starting over here with Sable then Sex and the Oyster, Brawn, and Black Tide. So first to swatch is Sable, which is a gold plum with bronze pearl. This is a frost finish shade. This is a permanent shade in Max Line, so you can buy it individually at any time. Next is Sex and the Oyster, which is a mid-toned seafoam green. This shade was previously released, and I do own this in its singular fo form. It is a very beautiful, smoky eye shade. It has a Velux Pearl finish, so as I mentioned, it is a re-promoted color. Next up is Brawn. This is a mid-toned plum brown with a satin finish. This is a new shade. And fourth is Black Tide, which is a black with silver sparkle. It has a velvet finish, and this is also a permanent shade. Okay, so there are the shadows in the An Amorous Adventure Quad. Beautiful formula on all four of these shades. Fantastic color and smoothness. But the only downside is you're only getting one new shade, and that's Brawn. Everything else is permanent or was promoted previously through MAC. The next quad is named after the collection. It's called A Novel Romance. Again, going clockwise, we first have My Fantasy, Fall in Lust, Dance in the Dark, and Rising Passions. And as I always do with powder eyeshadows, I am doing these swatches over primer. So we're going to start with My Fantasy, which is a pale neutral olive. And this has a Velux pearl finish. Next is Fall in Lust. This is a mid-toned cool gray mauve with a frost finish. Next is Dance in the Dark, which is a deepened brown shade. Almost black. This is a matte formula. And fourth is Rising Passions, which is a greenish charcoal with gold pearl. This has a velvet finish. So here are your four colors from the A Novel Romance eyeshadow quad. Again, every single shade in here has a beautiful formula, smooth finish, a creamy consistency. Very rare for MAC to have consistent quality across all four shades in a quad. And the third quad is called A Passionate Quest. And let's see if we can get all three of these quads to be awesome. So first is The Wrong Man, Serenade, Brazenly, and Stay. So first up is The Wrong Man, which is a light, cool, dusty pink with a satin finish. Next is Serenade, which is a mid-toned orchid pink, and it has a violet or blue duochrome flash to it. This has a Velux Pearl formula. Third is Brazenly, which is a rich eggplant. This has a Velux Pearl finish. This is a re-promoted shade. And fourth is Stay, which is a deep violet. Sorry, this shade is actually called Stay Sultry. And it has a satin finish. 
All right, so there you have the four colors in the Passionate Quest Quad. And once again, I would say all of these are really darn good quality. Just ever so slightly less smooth and creamy with a couple of the shades, I would say the first and the third one, but really nothing to talk home about in terms of any sort of criticism. And next up we have a new eyeliner formula from MAC. These are called Fluid Line Eye Pencils. They are retailing for $16 each. And as you can see, they come in seven shades currently. Here is Atomic Ore, Earth Sign, Deep Blue Sea, Metropolis, Evil Twin, Black Brilliance, and Water Willow. Okay, so first up we have Atomic Ore, which is a gold shade. Next is Earth Sign, which is a deep brown. I feel like this almost has a purple tone to it. Deep Blue Sea. It says this is a deep ocean blue, but it's quite a bright and striking color. Metropolis, which is a deep metal gray. Evil Twin, which is a blue purple. Black Brilliance, it's a black shade. And Water Willow, which is a deep khaki green. All right, here are your seven shades. The black shade is really intense and opaque, and the brown one is pretty opaque too. They all have an extremely uh, smooth glide on creamy formula, so they really do feel like the fluid lines, but in pencil form. And last up, we have five new lip glass colors. These are $15 each. Here is Bared For You, Pure Fiction, Reckless Desire, Talk Sexy, and Wanting More. All right, here's Bared For You, which is a soft rose gold. Pure Fiction, mid-toned violet pink, Reckless Desire, which is a sheer pearlescent lavender gray. I'm going to add a second layer to this just to build up this beautiful sparkle that this shade has. Talk Sexy, it's a dark purple has gold shimmer in it, and Wanting More, which is a washed out lavender. It's got quite a dusty tone to it. I'm going to add a second layer here. All right, so here are your five tinted lip gloss shades. Again, swatches of these applied to the lips will be at AllureBeauty.com. All right, so there you have the MAC A Novel Romance Collection. And first I wanna say, I actually really enjoy the cheeky nature of the promotional images for this collection that MAC went with. So if you haven't seen those really ridiculous romance novel cover promo images, I would definitely encourage you to check them out. And you know what? I am so impressed by the quality of this collection. And I'm, I'm genuinely surprised at what good of a collection this seems like. The standout above all is the eyeshadow quads, which never happens. I mean, it never happens that even in one eyeshadow quad, you have four fantastic and consistent quality shades, let alone in all three eyeshadow quads with all four of the shades in each of the three quads having fantastic formulation, smoothness, and pigmentation. So I don't know if that was intentional. I don't know if MAC is paying much more attention to the quality and consistency of their products, or if it's just kind of a fluke and that's just the way that it happened for this collection. But either way, 
good job and I applaud MAC for the quality of the collection of the eyeshadow quads in this collection. I also really liked the lipstick shades. I think that they are interesting and varied. And same with the lip glosses. I am not a fan of the tinted lip glosses from MAC, but I think the ones in this collection are interesting at the very least, both in color and in sort of quality with the shimmer in some of them and the more milky quality in the other ones. And I will say that the Fluid Line eyeliners are wonderful in testing um, several of them. They have such a smooth and creamy formula, but then once they set, they are really budge proof. They're not gonna fade, they're not gonna smear, they're not gonna flake. They're gonna stay in place until you deliberately take them off. So those eyeliners are definitely worth investing in. And I really like the one electric cool eyeshadow color that's new in this collection. It's beautiful, it has a flaky shimmering quality, but the flakes, the shimmering flakes are so numerous that it's not just this really weak color. It's very beautiful and luminescent on the lids. If anything, I think the powder blushes are the least impressive, although I can't really even say that for both of them because I think that Fun Ending, which is that lighter peach shade, has a wonderfully smooth and pigmented formula. It was more pigmented than the deeper shade, which was Animal Instincts, which I wasn't a huge fan of. So if anything is disappointing in terms of my first impressions or just lightly testing out these products, it would probably be Animal Instincts, that blush. And everything else is really cool. So this is not the collection to pass up, I don't think. I really think there is a lot to offer in this lineup. And I'm, I'm glad. It's been a long time since I've actually been really enthusiastic about a MAC collection in its entirety as opposed to just enthusiastic about individual products. So good job, MAC. Um, I would hope that it's kept up in terms of the quality and the interestingness of, of things, but of course we will see. I hope this was helpful to you in terms of choosing which products you do and don't want. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about this. And if you want to win the A Novel Romance lipstick, which was the first lipstick color that I swatched, I am giving that away to a lucky viewer who is subscribed and who likes Allura on Facebook. And the link to the Facebook page will be in the description box below. It is open internationally, but yes, you do need to have Facebook in order to like the page. So those are the two things you need to do. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Please do not write enter me or I'm entering this giveaway. Those comments are very boring. So please just say something substantive it doesn't have to be about this collection, but something that is interesting to read. And for anyone who does comment and fill those two things, you will be entered in the giveaway. All right, thanks for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. I hope you subscribe, and I'll see you in the upcoming videos. Bye. Comfortable material, and this does, I do this zip this up kind of above the waist, and it is sort of a mid-length skirt with a zipper at the back but number one thing is not only being very pretty, but being super comfortable to wear.